Oh, hi, long time no see. Come on right in and let's chat about the third and final part in our DevOps series, the deployment pipelines. Hello and welcome back to this series of videos on the DevOps Cloud Service. Today we're going to be talking deployment pipelines and first of all, let's see what kinds of different pipelines we can create. We've got the blue-green and the canary deployments and we'll take a look at each in turn and see what each one of them brings. So what are the kinds of stages that we can add to a deployment pipeline? As you can see, we've got the blue-green and canary strategies. So blue-green is a group of stages to orchestrate software release using two identical environments where one is active and the other is standby. And canary is a group of stages to orchestrate software release using a canary environment for a small subset of user traffic. We can also apply manifests or install Helm charts to our Kubernetes cluster, use the built-in functions update strategy, or deploy incrementally through compute. We've got some control stages. We can pause for approval, we can route traffic between environments, or use a timer for testing. We can also invoke Oracle functions to run some custom logic if we want to integrate that in. Let's check out how to add a blue-green or canary deployment stage. So let's first select the blue-green strategy and see what kind of configurations we need to add in. So we need to select the deployment type, which can be either OK or business group, of course. Give it a name. Then select the environments for the deployment set, the one that will be active and the one that will be standby. Select the artifacts for the deployment configuration. Add a load balancer, which we can also test. And then, of course, select the rollout policy and the failure policy. In the next optional step, we can add validation or approval controls. Either a custom logic through a function, like mentioned before, or a stage that will require approval. And now let's take a look at how we run the full pipeline. Once we have created our deployment pipelines, we can run them directly from here. And of course, we can also create a trigger that will run the whole process and all the stages that we have created in our different pipelines. Thank you for tuning in to this series of videos. I hope you found the information useful and I'll catch you in the next video with some new cool stuff on Oracle Cloud.